You just can't wait till I get some toothaches so I stop shouting the word of God from my rooftop, huh? Nah, it's okay, I'm not offended. I've been living with this mess in my mouth for a little while now. But you see, this is the evidence right here that I've already come through the fire to be here. Now I know that my passionate demeanor is a little off-putting for some of y'all that prefer soft words and soft mint. Do I look like a soft man out here? What did you come to see? You can stay in town next time where the soft men hang out. But out here, we're making the path straight and that's what we're doing. Now let me tell y'all about my teeth and in the process I will tell you about this refining fire I've come through. I'm 40 now, but when I was 27, I weighed 190 pounds and was lean and mean with a perfect set of pearly white teeth. At the time, I was a materialist atheist, but through research that I was enthusiastic to prove evolution, I found it to be completely lacking in any kind of logic or sense or reason at all. Now, when I gave up on evolution as an atheist, I decided it was only logical if something of a higher power started life on this planet, which led me back to Hinduism. I was a 4.2 student in world religions. I went right back to those studies, picked the religion that I thought sounded best, boom, Hinduism, Bhagavad Gita from the ancient Vedas. Now I loved me the sound of that book and I hated the Bible so I railed against the Bible and preached this Bhagavad Gita. So there I was in the prime of my flesh just full of the pride of life, railing against God and espousing a false one. And wouldn't you know that God struck me down? You can run on for a long time, sooner or later. And wouldn't you know the first truth I found in the Bible was that it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. First my teeth started breaking. A complete mystery to the oral surgeon that capped my first broken tooth. And then the first episode of acute pancreatitis hit me. And then it did not stop hitting me and over the course of four months I lost 65 pounds and half my stinking teeth. I spent a solid year on the bathroom floor repenting in dust and ashes. What did I lose? Everything except the wife he blessed me with. You want knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? Be careful what you ask for. How did I learn? God taught me with long-suffering patience as he pulled me inch by inch out of the pit. You hope I have a toothache? Death walks right here beside me and mocks my every step, sir. Do you want to know how your flesh has to decrease so that your spirit can increase? Let mine be a cautionary tale. The God I once mocked marked me and set me apart. Why am I out here in the bush in Alaska living off-grid the way that I do? Because if I come back to town, I will die. Though my flesh does desire, and often at that, I can't even eat the artificial food. That's sorcery. Is it just because I'm good with lots of discipline? No, if I do, I will be back on the bathroom floor. Now I got a thorn in my flesh, y'all, a messenger from Satan to buffet me. Keep me in line. It's a special little enzyme, like mad cow disease even. I've seen it take 10 pounds of muscle off of my bone in one day. I watched it take my teeth. I have been brought through this fire to tell you all, make straight the way of the Lord.